Uh, so here we are with uh, the monster that we made. Uh, if you're really interested, just have a pause. I'm not going to go over very much. This isn't like a deck tech or anything. So uh, the only high note is we did have 11 cards that are either citizen or create citizen tokens. So this should get produced somewhat fairly. My only blue splash is for soul emancipation. Hopefully this card wins us some games. And we'll see how we do game one. Let's go. See, now all I want to do is watch the mummy. Like, come on, scarabs. Yes. Where's my green source? Oh, there's my green source. Let's try it. Hopefully they don't come out just swinging super hard. Really digging this music though. We're just gonna turn down a little bit. Alright, so we, we could play this, get going on this token creation, but I think I want to play this and activate it on the same turn, and I can't do that without sacrificing this. I could do this, create another citizen token, and then drop my 3-3 three, three flyer next turn. Or, if I create a treasure token, that'll go up to five. I'll be two turns away. We're going to create the citizen token. We're going to go wide and punch hard. going wide. Shield counter? No, convey is good. That's fine. I can battle you in there, don't you worry. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I'm in a jazz club and it feels great. This has to be the best music we have had for this game in a long time. Might not be your jam, but it is my jam. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. One more land and we get there. Alright, so we can't attack this turn, which means I can't activate this, which is kind of sad. But we can put our own in the air pressure, so that's good. And we can give it super pseudo vigilance and keep untapping it. Oh, 
who's the composer for this? Sweet. Let's see what he does. That's fine. Blow me out. Yep. Here goes nothing. Don't have a counter. Don't have a counter. Don't have a counter. Don't have a counter. Disdainful stroke. I feel so dumb if I get disdainful stroked right here. No, we didn't. Sweet. That might have been a mistake. Counter of target permanent puts it on the top or bottom. Why can't it just say down? This is what I don't get about these cards and the design and why this is so confusing. It was take action and don't take action. Very nice, by the way. It wasn't... Oh, hey, look. Oh, this doesn't have flying. That's depressing. For some reason, I thought this had flying. This is why you need to read the cards and not just be like, this is a big seven drop. It has flying. I'm an idiot. But anyhow, as I was saying, like, why doesn't it just say top or bottom? Like, how much harder would that be to program than take action or decline? Like, this is so confusing for any new players and even advanced players. It's so easy to punt. Let's get in there. This card is great. I wish I saw one of these. I probably didn't pass it. So we can 3M to death, which is nice. Mm, game of life for each other creature you control. That's pretty good. Like this is this is a feel bad because I have to throw this in front of it. I think they have a pump spell. If they got a pump spell, this really blows. No pump spell, good for us. So I'm attacking here because I don't have a way to interact with this 3-3 flyer, so I'm willing to make this trade. Apparently they're not. Can I cast it for less? No. Should I just make my mana better this turn and let him know what I have? No, we're going to keep it in hand. Make him think we got a trick. That's nice. They're gonna make their flyer beefier. If they attack... One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I throw it all in front? No, we're gonna take the six. I'll take this first six. I guess we'll keep this because I can double spell the next turn and then I can like continue drawing. 
this is really nice because hey look like I don't have to give up so much of my board to block can I go wide enough to get there I don't know Wow, that card's great. He's gonna take my flyer. And then he's gonna take his guy that gives plus two, plus two. No, come on, bro. <laughs> Your deck is so good. Six and six is twelve. So I'm on a three turn clock. We're gonna lose this game. He drafted a better deck than we did. Ooh. Damn straight I would have made that trade. First and foremost. I guess we'll get the islands. Not like it matters. We still have two planes left. Scry to the bottom. If I do this, do I draw again? Nope. He's going to attack all out this turn. And it's going to put us in a very awkward spot. He's not going to attack out all out this turn. Alright. Unfortunately... I think we lose. I can't interact in the air. How you blocking, bro? Is this target creature? No. Have to tap the blue. Yes, we lose. We know. I'm not going to just concede. It was a good game. There's a lot of fun. Three, four, five, six. I'm gonna pump it just because. Pump it up. <coughs> Alright, so what did we take away from this game? This card's good. This card's probably better than I think it is. We drafted that. Gotta go with more flyers, man. It's still limited. He knew. He knew I could pump it. We'll give him the good game. We'll let the no blocks. Don't good game your opponent too early. It's really annoying. Well, I'll see you back for round two. Oh my goodness, this is going down.